just more cautious now of staying in the shade, um, just so I won't have a heat stroke. 60 million Americans are under heat alerts across the South. Many cities on track to break records from New Orleans to McAllen, Texas, and Redding, California could see a record of 112 degrees. Meanwhile, 31 million people from Missouri to Virginia are at risk for thunderstorms with the potential for tornadoes, hail, and up to 80 mile per hour winds. Near our state, more than 200,000 in Indiana and Illinois lost power. Luckily, we have dodged a lot of that severe weather. It seems like it's kind of to our south, Sarah. Do we have a chance of seeing any severe weather in West Michigan? Yeah, so today will be a bit of a dreary day for us. Not only do we have some showers building to our south, but we also have some cloud cover. I want to give you a glimpse at kind of the setup. What you see here is a stationary front, and it's kicking up that moisture into our area, and you can see a few spotty showers kind of pushing their way towards the Kalamazoo area there as well but no lightning coming along with these and I don't suspect that we'll have any severe weather for us today there is a chance for a few thunderstorms in the mix but it would be primarily heavy rain and maybe some lightning it will be a bit of a washout though today you will have some dry hours in the mix so take that into account but not going to be the best day to spend a lot of time outside uh, rain chances really do pick up as we head throughout the afternoon really I think the heaviest of rain will fall between the hours of about 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. will dry out slowly as we push through throughout our overnight hours and really those rain showers will be heaviest primarily south of Grand Rapids. You can see some of those thunderstorms working to fire up but I think there's a good chance that the majority of the area sees some amount of rain today. Again it becomes a bit spottier into the overnight hours before we dry out into Monday and Monday will be a fairly nice day overall. We'll have more sunshine in the mix and begin that warming trend. I do want to point out that severe weather threat though. It's not terribly far away from us. So you see that green color kind of headed towards northern Indiana as well as northern Ohio. There is maybe a chance that we see that marginal risk slide into some of our southern counties, but at this point, I think it's pretty much out of the question. Further down to the south, though, you see that slight and enhanced risk in place. That's where the target zone will be. So if you are traveling today or potentially uh, later on today, keep that in mind. You may get caught in some strong to severe storms. Temperatures today also a bit on the cooler side. We'll top off in those mid 70s for highs. 76 will be your high in Grand Rapids, 74 in Allegan. Not too bad towards the lakeshore. We may see a few 80 degree marks there, but again, maybe not the best beach day on deck. I do want to touch on that wildfire smoke. I know finally we're starting to see a little bit of improvement with that air quality over the last 48 hours or so. We still do have some thick fire smoke to northern Michigan, but here in West Michigan, air quality, not terrible. We're sitting in that kind of uncomfortable phase or uh, unhealthy for sensitive groups. I think eventually we'll be in that moderate phase as the day goes on. Okay, Monday into Tuesday. I know a lot of people have these days off. Not bad. 85 with some sunshine into the 4th of July, one of the warmest days of our week with a high near 90. And you'll notice a pretty warm middle of the week there. We'll actually hold on to those 90s through Wednesday with a chance for some showers and thunderstorms. And then we'll see that cold front slide through and it will be significantly cooler into Thursday with a high near 82. The weekend though starting to look dry, which will be super beneficial. We haven't seen that in quite a bit of time. And we'll be back in those 80s. So a little bit of a roller coaster temperature wise, but today might be the best day to stay inside, I would say. Yeah, I know what we talk about it seems like there's not the greatest weather sometimes on the yeah. weekends, but at least we have that four day weekend. So those two days, Monday and Tuesday. Right, and Monday and Tuesday are gonna be good. Yeah. Warm, muggy, so get that air conditioner on. Yeah, definitely we'll wanna do that. Thanks, Sarah.